So I invite you to come into a comfortable seated position on your mat. If you'd like, you can sit on the edge of a cushion or perhaps a blanket just so that you can get your hips sitting up a bit higher than your knees. Especially if you have issues with low back pain or sciatica, then I would definitely recommend that you sit on the edge of a blanket or a pillow. So come into a comfortable seated position, legs crossed in front, lengthen your spine, drawing the shoulders down your back as you lift the crown of your head up towards the sky. Slightly tilt your chin down towards your chest so that you're able to lengthen the back of your neck. Close your eyes softly. Take a deep breath in through the nose and slowly exhale. Continue to take a deep breath in through the nose and now this time out of the nose. Inhaling peace, love, serenity, and releasing whatever no longer serves you at this time. Now I invite you to release your right ear over to your right shoulder. Taking a big inhale, roll your head back, lifting your chin towards the sky. Roll your left ear over to your left shoulder and then release your chin down to your chest. Continue to slowly roll your head around your neck, inhaling when your head drops back and exhaling when your chin comes down to your chest. And as you slowly circle your head around, once your chin comes down to your chest, pause for a moment, take a breath, and then roll your head in the opposite direction Again, inhaling when your head drops back and exhaling when your chin comes down to your chest. And again, as your chin slowly approaches your chest, pause for a breath or two, and then bring your head to center or neutral position. And now let's inhale our shoulders up to our ears, and then drop our shoulders away. Again, inhale both shoulders up to our ears, and exhale and release. And one more, inhale and exhale. Now let's inhale, sweeping our arms up overhead, bringing our palms together and exhaling our hands to our heart center. Again, inhale, gathering love and all this positive energy into the palms of our hands bringing those hands together and bringing that love down to our heart center. One more time, inhale, sweeping your arms up, fingers spread wide, and then bring all that positive energy to our heart. Closing your eyes gently as you take a few deep breaths in and out.
So extend both hands up towards the sky. Release your right hand outside of your right hip. Inhale your left hand up towards the sky and exhale over to your right side, stretching the entire left side of your body. If you don't have any issues with your neck, turn your gaze up towards the sky. Otherwise, you can look down towards the mat. Inhale up to center and release your left hand to the outside of that left thigh. Inhale to lengthen your spine and as you exhale, slowly twist to the right. With each inhale, lengthen your spine and with each exhale, twist to the right. And on your last exhalation, slowly unwind back to center. Inhale, both hands up overhead. Release your left hand to the outside of your left thigh. Inhale as you stretch your fingers of your right hand up towards the sky. And exhale as you slowly lean over to your left side. Again, if you don't have any neck issues, you can turn your gaze up towards the ceiling. Otherwise, you can look down at the floor. Remember to keep both sitting bones rooted into your mat. Inhale back to center. Release your right hand to the outside of that left thigh. Inhale to lengthen your spine. And exhale as you slowly twist to the left. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. From your last exhalation, slowly twist back to center. Inhaling your arms up overhead, bringing your palms together as you exhale down to your heart center. Then release your hands down to your lap, down to your knees. Extend both hands out in front of your shoulder height. Interlace your fingers and exhale as you press your palms away, arching your upper back. Inhale as you press the palms up towards the sky and exhale as you release your hands behind your lower back, interlacing your fingers. Inhale as stretch your knuckles down to the mat, bringing those shoulder blades together and exhale your hands back to your heart center. Again, inhale your arms out in front of you, shoulder height. Exhale as you interlace your fingers, pressing the palms away, rounding your shoulders. Inhale, slowly pressing your palms up towards the sky. And exhale as you release your hands behind your lower back, interlacing your fingers. Inhale as you stretch your knuckles to the mat, bring those shoulder blades together. And exhale your hands back to a prayer position at your heart center. One more cycle. Inhale to extend your arms out. Exhale as you interlace your fingers and press away. Inhale as you reach your hands up towards the sky. Exhale as you release your hands behind your lower back, interlacing your fingers. Stretch those knuckles down to the mat as you bring your shoulder blades together. And exhale as you bring your hands back together at your heart center. Inhale. And exhale, releasing your hands down to your lap. So let's extend our legs out in front of us pointing our toes and flexing them. Just doing that a few times, pointing and flexing, really spreading our toes wide, and then returning to a seated position, cross leg position. Try to bring the opposite shin in front, hands resting on our knees. And we're gonna circle our spine as we lean to the right, circle back, rounding our shoulders, leaning to the left, and then coming to the front, really pressing our chest through, opening our heart. And just continue to circle your torso around, slow, gentle movements. We really get into this, circling as slow or as fast as our body needs. And then reversing the direction. 
matching your breath with the movements. Moving in an organic manner. Getting into those tight places. Then slowly circling back to a straight or neutral spine. And so from here, we're going to slowly transition to our hands and knees. Now I recommend that you roll your mat. Roll your mat a few times so you can place a cushion underneath your knees. You want to really provide your knees with some protection here. So your knees should be hip width distance on top of the rolled mat. Your feet lined up behind your knees and your hands stacked directly beneath your shoulders with the fingers spread wide. And we're going to do a few cow cats. So on your inhale, lift your chest, lift your chin and your hips. And as you exhale, round your upper back as you tuck in your chin and tuck in your hips. And again, inhale, lift your chin, lift your hips. Exhale, tuck in your chin, tuck in your tailbone. You just do a few cow cats going at your own pace. Inhaling when you lift your chin, exhaling when you're tucking in your chin, really arching that upper back. And now let's transition to what we call child's pose. Spread your knees wider than your hips, bringing your big toes together. And then slowly drop your hips back towards your heels as you lower your forehead to your mat. You can even stack one fist on top of the other and rest your forehead on your fist. And just relax here and breathe. It's a wonderful stretch for the hips as well as the spine. You can even place a pillow underneath your hips. And then slowly transition back to your hands and knees. And we're going to do a flow here. So returning to our tabletop position. Inhale into a cow position, lifting your chin, lifting your hips. And as you exhale, round your upper back and push back into child's pose. And again, inhale back to cow, lifting your chest and chin and hips. And then round that upper back as you push back into child's pose. And just flow at your own pace, inhaling into cow, exhaling as you push back into child's pose. Slow and gentle movements as you move with ease and with grace. One more round. And then let's pause in child's pose for a breath or two. And then slowly come back up to tabletop position. So let's go ahead and unroll our mats. And I invite you to slowly make your way down to your mat into your belly. Come all the way down into your belly. Take a breath here. And then when you're ready, slide your hands back so that your fingers, or so that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and elbows close to your torso. And on your inhale, come up into a cobra, turning or twisting your torso to the right. And then exhale down the center, down to your mat. And again, inhale back to cobra and slowly twist to the left. Then come all the way down to your mat. Take a breath or two here. Inhale up into a cobra position and then exhale down. Take a few breaths. Then slowly inhale up as you slide your forearms forward so that your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders. 
Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Lengthen the back of your neck for what we call Sphinx Pose. Take a breath or two. Then slowly lower yourself down to your mat. Cross your hands one on top of the other and lower your head, turning your gaze to the right and turning your toes in towards one another. Rest here. And then when you're ready, slowly come back up into Sphinx Pose. So again, draw those shoulders down your back. Lift in the back of your neck. And you can choose to stay in Sphinx or you can come up into what we call seal pose, straightening your arms. Either pose is fine. The breathing is slow and easy here. And then slowly you're going to exhale, coming all the way down to your mat, crossing your hands underneath your face as you turn your gaze to the left, turning your toes in towards one another. Taking a few deep breaths here. And then slowly, I want you to turn over and to your back. Make sure there's nothing on your mat. Just come down on your back, arms on either side of your body. And from here, we're going to work into getting into our side body, stretching our side body here. So walk your feet over to the right edge of your mat. Extend your arms overhead, grabbing opposite elbows or forearms and slide your upper body over to the right as well, trying to keep your left shoulder blade rooted into your mat. If you are able to, if you need more of a stretch, cross your left ankle over your right. So in this pose, you're stretching the entire left side of your body. Just enjoy the stretch as you breathe in and breathe out. Now slowly uncross your ankles and walk your feet back to the center of your mat. And then slide your upper body to the center as well, releasing your arms alongside your body. And just take a few breaths here to reset your system. And then when you're ready, walk your feet over to the left edge of your mat. Your feet may even come off the mat, and that's fine. Extend your arms overhead, grabbing your opposite forearms or elbows, sliding your body over to the left, trying to keep that right shoulder blade rooted into your mat. And if you'd like, you can cross that right ankle over the left. You enjoy the stretch on the right side of your body this time. And just focus on your breath. Now uncross your ankles, walk your feet back to center, and slide your upper body to the center of the mat as well, releasing your arms alongside your body. Take a few breaths here to rest and to reset. Now bend your knees, placing the soles of your feet flat on the mat, Bring your knees into your chest, wrapping your arms or your hands on your shins, and circle your knees around, massaging your lower back. 
going in one direction about three or four times and then reversing the direction. Gentle movements to help massage the lower back. Pulling your knees back to center. And then holding onto that right knee as you release your left leg, extending it out onto the mat. With your left leg active and engaged, pull that right knee into your torso. And then when you're ready, I invite you to extend that right arm out to the right side. While taking your gaze to the right, release that right knee over to the left, placing your left hand on the outside of that right knee. Just enjoy this nice stretch or nice twist for your spine. Inhale your knee back to center. Placing your hands on the front of your shins, pulling it, in, pulling it in tightly. And then just rotate that knee around. Working on that right hip joint. Circling in one direction about three times. And then reversing the direction of the circle. And then coming back to center, pulling that knee into your torso one more time. Now pull the left knee into your torso as well and extend the right leg out, keeping it active and engaged while you pull that left knee in. Extend that left arm out to the left side, taking your gaze to the left, drop your knee over to the right. You can even place your right hand on the outside of that left knee. Enjoying that gentle twist. So as you continue to focus in on your breath. Now slowly inhale that left knee to center, drawing it into your torso. And now circle that left knee around, circling it in one direction about three times. And then reversing the direction. Drawing that knee in towards your torso. Pulling that right knee in to join the left as you pull both knees in. Now from here we're going to go into happy baby. So bring your hands to the inside of your knees, to the outsides of your feet. As you draw your knees down towards your mat, press the soles of your feet up towards the ceiling. And your knees should be wider than your rib cage. You can even rock gently from side to side, just like a happy baby, or you can choose to remain still. So you can continue to rock in happy baby, or you can grab your big toes with the middle, index, and thumbs of both hands, wrapping them around your big toes, and extending your legs out into a a wide leg straddle position. Or you can stay in happy baby pose, whichever feels best for your body. And again, you can just rock from side to side gently and easily. And then if you chose to take the straddle position, slowly return to happy baby pose. And then from happy baby pose, let's draw our knees into our chest, wrapping our arms either around our shins or underneath our thighs. And as we inhale, let's draw our forehead up to our knees, holding it there for a breath or two. And then slowly releasing our head and neck gently down to the mat as we release our feet down to the mat as well as we prepare for our final pose, Shavasana. If your back is feeling a little sensitive, spread your feet wider than your hips and allow your knees to fall in towards one another like a tent. That'll help decompress your lower back. 
Otherwise, you can simply extend both legs out onto your mat, again, a little wider than your hips, allowing your ankles to fall out to the side. We're going to close out our practice with a little deep breathing. So let's place one hand over our belly and the other over our heart. We're going to take a deep breath in through the nose on the count of one, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. One, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, hold, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, last cycle, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, hold, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, hold, five, four, three, two, one. Now just normalize the breath and breathe. Release your hands alongside your body and enjoy these last few moments of quiet. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. And may you walk in peace. Namaste.